Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting me here, hi, I'm Maria and I'm so glad that you're joining me. So for today's video, I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys. A few weeks ago, I asked you all to ask me questions on my Instagram story um, just regarding like life, school, fitness, really anything. So I wanted to incorporate those um, questions that you guys asked me in today's video. It was kind of like a Q&A, but also just chat with you all because life has been pretty crazy lately and I feel like I haven't been very consistent with my uploads or like putting content out there and stuff so I just wanted to chat with you all and give you an update and yeah just have fun. So a lot of you asked me questions about school like where I go to school um, what year I am, what I'm studying, my classes and stuff for this semester. So if you guys are new here, or maybe you just didn't know, um, I am a sophomore at the University of Pittsburgh on like the main campus, um, and I really love it here. I am also from Pittsburgh, well like outside of Pittsburgh, so this place is like just my home and it's so fun and I love finding like new things to do in the city and meeting new people especially here on campus because you meet a lot of new people from a lot of different places and yeah I just really really like it and as far as what I am majoring in I know this stuff is like kind of boring talking about school so I'll try to get through it as fast as I can because I promise there is more exciting stuff um, later on but just to keep you guys updated um, I posted a video a while back I'll link it up there about like why I started YouTube it was like my first Q&A that I did on here and just um, I think there were some questions in that that asked about like my school major and what I'm studying and stuff like that so I was actually on the pre PT track back then which PT is physical therapy um, and I talked all in that video about like why I decided to switch from PA to PT which honestly is not that big of a deal right now because I'm only a sophomore so it's not like I have to make a decision but I am currently back on the pre-PA track and I am so excited about it um I know that seems like kind of indecisive but that's honestly like just who I am um I am pretty indecisive as a person but I just like over the summer I had like some revelations I guess you would call it and the more and more that like I did with PTs like volunteering and then also like being around people that were nurses and doctors and PAs and nurse practitioners I realized how much like even before like I'm not in school for like PA or anything or right now I'm just doing undergrad but just through those experiences I realized how much more I was interested in the medical side of patient care and not like the therapy side. Um, I, I do love like the muscular like system and stuff like that and I think that PT and OT and like all the therapies are really really cool and interesting but I just felt like if I was missing it so soon even before I started school for physical therapy that it was the right decision for me to make to go back to PA and I'm so excited about it. I just like want to be in grad school. I am just over the moon and I I really really can't wait. I'm in like a whole bunch of clubs that kind of deal with like PA and the pre-health track and a lot of my classes are starting to revolve around health which I'm really excited about. So yeah that is my kind of longer version of what my like track is in school. Right now I don't have a major because the program that I want to apply to is still the- sorry if you hear like banging. The people of me are making a lot of noise in my apartment building but I don't have a major right now which is kind of annoying because I just don't like being undeclared but I plan on applying to the rehab science major here at the University of Pittsburgh but you can't start the program till your junior year typically so I can't apply until later on in my sophomore year so I just am like waiting to get into that major but I am doing like all the prerequisites for that program and stuff which I'm really excited about and I hope that I get accepted into that major which it shouldn't be too bad and I just can't wait to start that later on in my undergraduate career and as far as classes that I am taking oh gosh I don't even want to think about it or talk about it because I am going to do schoolwork after this, but I am in 
five or six classes right now. I am in ASL 1, which is American Sign Language, which is really, really awesome, and I'm so glad that Pitt offers that as a program, and they also have a sign language certificate that you can get, um, so I am planning on doing that as well, providing that I have enough time to complete all of the classes. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about ASL. The class is really fun and really inter interesting. My nose is getting stuffy. Um, the class is really fun and really interesting. And yeah, I just can't wait to move forward in it and learn more. And I can't wait to really start implementing what I've learned so far in sign language into like different environments, whether it be like at work or, you know, volunteering or even just like everyday life, like at the store or something. So yeah, I'm really excited for those things. And then I'm also in a stats class, which is kind of boring, but you know, everyone has to take it. Um, I am in a writing for the health science professions, which is very useful. I am also in human development, which is probably my favorite class that I have right now. Since it is still the beginning of the semester and over the semester, we kind of like gradually progress throughout the lifespan and just talk about how people change and like their development and stuff. So yeah, right now we're talking about like newborns and infants and then at the beginning, like the way beginning of the semester, we talked about like the prenatal period, which was so cool. I absolutely love that stuff. I am just like obsessed with kids and babies and I I love it so much. So this that class has been like my favorite thing right now. It's just so interesting to learn about and really useful if I plan on going into like the pediatric field or OBGYN and something like that. So I really, really love that. And then I'm also in OCHEM 1 lab, which kind of sucks, but it's actually um, only half the semester, which I didn't know going into it. I showed up on my first day of class and I was reading through the syllabus and one part was like, your lab final will be on the last day of lab, which is like October 17th or something. And I was like, whoa, is this a typo? Like, is it supposed to be December 17th? Because typically like the semester ends in December and that's when you have all your finals. But turns out it was correct and it was the best surprise ever because that means I only have to endure this OCHEM lab for like another four or five weeks, which is not bad at all. I'm so happy that my schedule will free up once that lab is over. And I just really can't wait for that because right now it takes up like uh, like five, six hour chunk of my week, like just in class time, not counting like the time spent outside of class to like do all of the pre-labs and assignments and studying and stuff like that. So I can't wait for that to be over. And I'm just so pleasantly surprised with how it has like been planned out for this semester because I did not expect it to be only half of the time. That being said, um, once that lab is over, I will hopefully, probably, fingers crossed, be able to upload consistently at least once, if not twice a week. So I'm really, really excited for that to be over because after that, then I will just have a lot more time on my hands to make content for you guys. So I am so excited, but definitely in the meantime, let me know of things that you want to see here on my channel. I'll let you guys know too some ideas that I have later on in the video, but let's see. Okay, lab. I'm also in a medical anthropology class, which is pretty neat and interesting. And let me see, I'm trying to look at my textbooks to see if I forgot anything. I think, I think that's it. Unless, yeah, I think that's all of the classes that I'm in. Let's see, English, Stats, Ochem Lab, Medical Anthropology. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Um, if I'm forgetting something, then it must not be very important. Although it probably is important because I need to get a good grade in it. But, um, so yeah, that is everything regarding school and kind of my schedule. Right now, I have mornings off for the most part, which is really, really nice. I don't have any classes on Fridays, but I did join the group Charge this year, which is like, a workout kind of group for girls and it's so fun already we have weekly workouts every week on monday and then i have like my small group workout on fridays since i don't have any class so i'm really excited about that and just to, to start like meeting new people and just like having more fun because i feel like my freshman year i didn't if you didn't know i live in an apartment right now which is kind of important to like the backstory of all of this but 
my apartment like I absolutely love it I like it so much better being here than in the dorms last year I just really hated living in the dorms especially because my dorm was like really far away it was like all the way on top of a hill and if you are familiar with the hills in Pittsburgh they are ridiculous I had to walk up this hill called cardiac hill past like all the hospitals and stuff here um in Oakland like every single day to get back up to my dorm and I had to walk up these chevron stairs which are stairs next to our chem building that absolutely sucked it's like 20 flights of stairs to get up there and taking the bus up there was just a hassle as well so I just really did not enjoy dorm life and just kind of being under like all the restrictions that you're under whenever you live in a dorm so I yeah I love it here in my apartment so much more already and I'm just so much more free I feel like and like happy I can cook my own food and everything is like decorated the way that I want it to be and it just feels more like mine I also have my car here now which is exciting because then I don't have to wait for like someone to come pick me up if I want to go somewhere or like try to find transportation so yeah I really love having my car here because then I could like go home wherever I want and like go to different places with friends and go volunteer and not have to be like on someone else's schedule so I, I really love that and I know it sounds crazy and everyone feels like adulting is so like horrible and adulting sucks and once you get like older and you have to buy your own groceries and cook your own food and all this stuff like it just sucks in comparison to being a kid but I'm just so excited for that like my friend and I were talking and we were just like we are made for that like late 20s early 30s lifestyle like that's just what I'm looking forward to in life like having my own place and having a job with a salary and just having everything like kind of in the right place I'm sure when the time comes I'll be looking forward to something else too but I just really love that lifestyle and I am happy that I kind of get a touch of it here while living in my apartment and going to school it's just it's just awesome so to get back to what I was talking to, um, schedules. So I do have like Monday mornings off right now and Fridays completely off and also the weekend, but that's usually booked up with stuff. But I try to, I've been trying to upload um, on the weekends, either Friday or Saturday, depending on when I can get editing done. So if you guys like that upload schedule, definitely let me know. Again, once my lab is over, I can probably like upload twice a week, maybe on like Tuesdays or Wednesdays as well. Um, yeah, so m currently Mondays, I like don't start until three o'clock and that is the case on Tuesdays as well. But on Tuesdays, I actually volunteer at a hospital nearby. Um, so my morning is kind of taken up by that. Um, Wednesday morning, I technically like don't really start till three o'clock, but I have a lecture for the OCHEM lab in the morning. So once that is over, then I will have Wednesday mornings free as well. And then Thursday... Is like my busy day with my lab because I start at 8 a.m. with class and then I go all the way until 10 p.m. when my lab is over so that is like my busiest day but again once my lab is over I will have that evening period free to get stuff done and edit and film videos and upload and stuff so I'm really excited as you can tell for this lab to be over so that I can start making more content for you all because I just love doing it as far as other life things I am looking to get some sort of health related job. I actually applied not too long ago to be a nursing assistant at one of the hospitals nearby, which I'm excited to hopefully hear back from them soon. I just really, really want to start getting some more patient care experience because I'm sure, as some of you may know, with the pre PA track, you do need a lot of patient care hours to really stand out in the application process. And I would just feel better about going into PA school in the future knowing that I've already had the experience of treating and caring for patients because I'm I'm not one to kind of just jump into things. I really like to be prepared and feel confident in myself and know that I can do it. So I think it's really important for me right now to just kind of get that experience. I get some of it through volunteering, but I kind of want to do it on a more medical level. So I'm excited about hopefully getting a job. I'm looking for like a casual position, so it's not going to be too many hours a week. Um, and it's kind of like those with those positions, if you don't know, like you can kind of just pick whatever you want to work, which will be really, really nice with like my variable school schedule. I also wanted to chat with you guys about like my goals for the semester. I already touched on some of them like here with like YouTube and Instagram and stuff. I do have goals that I want to be more present and consistent for you all. I just 
really love making videos and while I can't really like put that as my prior priority right now because I do have to like do well in school in order to hopefully succeed in life um I do really want to set like a schedule for myself for uploading and just making fun content for you all um just because it's just so fun to do and I love like interacting with you guys and it's just it's just so fun and one of the best decisions that I have made in my life so that is one of my goals is to just be better I guess at doing YouTube and like all of that social media sort of stuff um but then also I kind of have like a fitness goal for this year well the rest of this year semester kind of life honestly in general so Nico my boyfriend and his family and my family and literally a whole bunch of people were in this like fitness competition with each other where you kind of set your own goals and it ends like at New Year's so it's kind of if you meet your goals by then then you win I guess and um, we haven't really figured out like a prize or anything yet but yeah I'm kind of incorporating fitness more in my life now I will say like I'm not the best at it by any means like I don't work out every single day but um I am trying to like live a more like fitness and health centered life so you know I cook better meals for myself especially now that I'm not living off of like dining hall food um I really love making healthier meals and I do work out like at least three times a week usually not for like that long and it's not like that extensive because I do obviously have to go to school and do stuff too but yeah um if you guys like want to hear anything about my fitness journey or maybe I can do like what I eat in a day or something like that I don't really feel comfortable with like filming at the gym or things like that so I probably wouldn't do that but if you guys want to be a part of that journey definitely let me know I can definitely do like uh again like I said like a um, what I eat in a day like that sort of stuff video um so yeah that's exciting I am excited to kind of be on a schedule especially now that I'm here at my apartment and not like living off of food that my parents buy at home um or like food that other people make for me in the dining hall and stuff like that um I'm really excited about like having control of my own health which is like I mean I guess I kind of did previously but right now it's like much more independent and based on decisions that I make for myself. And then to finish up, I have a, some more fun stuff to talk about. I promise it's not all boring school and schedule and like fitness and stuff like that. But I just wanted to chat with you guys about videos and ideas that I have for the future. So I definitely, definitely, definitely want to get my apartment tour up here very, very soon. I do have some other like finishing touches that I have to put in my apartment before I want to show it to you guys. Like I wanted to get some more plants, especially for some things that I have hanging over in this region over here. And I wanted to get some more artwork to put up on those boring white walls and maybe some more pillows for my bed too. We'll see. Um, and then in the living room space, I just wanted to add a little bit more decorations again, like on the walls and stuff um, before giving you guys a full apartment tour but that is definitely coming very very soon in the future I also had ideas of doing like a bunch of different vlogs like a again like a what I eat in a day maybe or and maybe like a day in my life or a week in my life um those sorts of things because I think they're very chill videos and fun to watch but I also want to do tons of fall inspired videos Fall is my absolute favorite season so definitely be on the lookout for like fall makeup tutorials fashion stuff hauls everything like that so those will definitely be coming in the future because i just love the fall season i mean who doesn't so definitely be on the lookout for those um i also want to do more outfits of the week videos i know that i'm really excited to do them in the fall time i did one last week and it is up on my channel now I'll link it up there in the eye but I do want to incorporate those like outfits of the week videos more on my channel because they are easy videos to film and I think they're really fun to watch and just a good way to get fashion inspiration especially as like a college student you kind of get I don't know in the habit of wearing like leggings or sweatpants and like tees and stuff to class every day so if you do want to spice it up a little bit I tend to dress up for the most part for school 
So yeah, I just think it would be fun to film those sorts of videos for outfit inspiration. I know I'm always looking on like Instagram and YouTube and Pinterest for outfit ideas, especially for the fall and winter time. So I yeah, I really love um, fall and winter fashion and I want to um, make videos about that more often and whether it be like hauls or just different ways to style things or like I said, the outfits of my week, the outfits of the week videos, I do want to do more of those. Yeah, so even if I don't get to upload like two larger content-based videos every single week, I would like to do like a bigger video and then maybe like an Outfits of the Week video too in the future. So if you guys like that idea, definitely let me know. Give this video a thumbs up or let me know down below of any other video ideas that you have or just things you want to know, questions, comments, really anything. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for... Oh wait! I completely forgot one other video too. I do have a thread up video planned. Um, it's going to be a while until I can actually get it up because I am filming the whole entire like thread up process from ordering clean out kits, sending clothes to thread up, having them be processed and how much money you get from it and then like a haul with that money. So it is a very, very long process. It actually spans a few months. Um, my items just got processed yesterday so they have like 60 days ish to sell so I won't be able sorry I thought I heard the door open but um so I won't be able to like do the haul and post the video on it until everything is finalized because I'm going to do like the whole process in one video from sending my clothes to how much money that I got for everything to what I bought from ThreadUp in one video so definitely be on the lookout for that probably like two or three months from now I know that's a long time but um definitely be looking for that and I'm really excited about it so yeah um but anyways thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of this video with me and like I said come chat with me in the comments or on my Instagram which will be linked down below and let me know of any other videos that you want to see or questions that you may have um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking around and I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye.